Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. I hope I'm live. I have been having a lot of trouble going live. And so Melanie says I'm live, but I'm not seeing myself. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I think I'm live now. I don't know. I don't know. Yay! I am. Hi, Patty. <laughs> thank you for saying hello, and thank you guys for joining me here as my little portion of the um, the uh, uh, summer craft-a-thon. Thank you, Melanie Ferguson with Southern Crush at Home for having me on. My name is Tammy Neff, and you're on my page called Tammy Loves Vintage, and I'm about to show you a little vintage that I think you're going to love as well. So let's get started. Let's get tucked in down here and um, get ready to roll. We are going to be making a kite. We're going to be making some wall decor, and you're going to see this over here. Um, I was laying out my kite height and I was I was just gonna go neutral and you guys I had an epiphany and I made this in my group today just off of what I was gonna do with you guys so now we're gonna um, we had to change it up a little bit because I couldn't get that out of my head so so we're gonna make a kite for you to hang on your wall out of vintage um, linens okay and I'm turning my phone down here so I can see you I set up my um, iPad, but it's not showing the live, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do comments at the same time. So anyway, let's get rolling here. Um, let's see, it made sense a minute ago. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to want to do is put a dot on a piece of poster board. Come down about five and a half inches, okay? Make a, make a little note, if you guys make a note five and a half inches, and then that's gonna be like the outside points of your kite. So when you measure, this is 11 inches in length from here to here, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm on weight on weight, you guys can't see. I'm 11 inches from here to here, and I'm 14 inches to the point at the bottom of the kite, okay? So um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, just, just get a piece of poster board, you're gonna put a dot, you're gonna measure down five and a half inches, and then you're gonna measure across. Uh, let's see, across is 12 inches, okay? Down five and a half, across is 12. This is approximate, you guys do you. You do whatever you wanna do, okay? So we got all of that figured out. Let me get this, get rid of this. So then you're gonna cut a couple of pieces of um, poster board just for a little stability okay is all and they're not going to be perfect they don't need to be perfect you're never going to see them they're just there for a little bit of support okay so I just thought I should probably save that little bit there for you guys to kind of get a, a feel for it and um, hopefully not be too fast let me get that out of the way so there we go. Now you can see I'm off a little bit, so I'm just gonna clean it up here a bit. Um, you saw me just kind of whacking at that, so I don't wanna be too far out. So okay, let's clean this up here. Okay, and then, whoops. Get that one cleaned off, and then this one here. So we're, we're pretty even. Okay, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is take large popsicle sticks these popsicle sticks you can get at the craft store they're eight inches long they're an inch wide um, you don't have to use these they're just um, the largest that i found um, i know i'm not the only one here that's used these so you're gonna lay one down and see how that's like the length of your kite so that will help you if you don't remember the measurements okay so we're gonna put a dot on that we're gonna put a dot on this and now what we're doing is building the frame of the kite okay so we're going to put one here like that this is so simple it took me a little bit to figure it out though I can tell you that you guys are lucky to have a <laughs> have a at least a hint of where to start I saw these things I'm like oh my gosh I have to make one and um, yeah, I think this is like my fifth one now. I think I've got it figured out for sure. 
Okay, so then I, I had to take one, you just cut it with your scissors, okay? Just cut it with your scissors. Um, no, not hide any tricks there on you. Okay. And then we put there, we put just a dot of glue. So what we've made is a frame for the kite, okay? Then we're gonna make some, some supports. Um, so I'm, I think I'll do this. I'm gonna put the glue on the sticks and then lay them wherever they reach, okay? And then let's go here and do the same thing, okay? Like that. Okay, and that is all that you need. Here is your frame. Okay, so then what I want to do is I cut a piece of muslin. Now muslin is just an inexpensive fabric. It comes in white or cream, does not matter what color you choose. Um, and you're gonna wanna spray your muslin with um, an adhesive spray. This is Treehouse Adhesive Spray. Any adhesive spray, Super 77, you can find at all of the, um, oh, you can find it at any hardware store or something like that, just some sort of spray adhesive. You're gonna press your kite down. Um, you wanna let your spray adhesive dry just a, just a bit so it tacks up. Uh, okay, so then I'm just cutting this off because we don't need this excess here. Okay, and this, this uh, will be the back of your kite, okay? This is like the all this part is the no fun part, but oops, I'm cutting into the cardboard. I didn't really mean to do that, but that's okay. 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 So, and and the only reason I had that cardboard piece was just to keep from spraying the spray adhesive on my table. Okay. All right. So I'm just kind of getting the wrinkles out because this will just be the back of your kite. You're welcome to decorate the back of your kite if you would like to. Um, now what I want to do is I need to make it smaller than that, just a pinch. So I'm going to cut just a little bit off, just a little tiny bit um, because I'm going to put some trim on here. Okay, so I'm going to put some trim on here and... I don't want it hanging over that. Okay. And when we're all done, I'm gonna show you, I've got three of them laying here that I can show you. Um, you guys wanna see some already done too. I don't know that I'll get this one completely done, but I'm sure gonna try. I think I can. I think I can, I think I can. Okay, here we go. You guys, this is just always so fun. I always look forward to doing these. I think I've been in every craftathon Melanie has had, unless she snuck one in on me that I didn't know about. Um, today, I was not her best friend. I <laughs> I was supposed to be on at noon Central Standard Time, but I'm Eastern Standard Time, and I don't know why I always get that messed up, but I did. And um, yeah, she's like, you're up next. And I'm like, good grief, I'm not even home. I was showing a, a house and I was watching my clock and I thought I had an hour. So yeah, she's kind of filling me in here as a little extra and I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I mean, we even confirmed in everything last night. I'm like, yep, two o'clock my time, 12 o'clock your time. Oh, well, I don't know what time it is. So this is the back, okay? This is like the boring, no fun part. Okay, so we're gonna put that aside for a minute and we're gonna work on the pretty part now. So, uh, I'm flipping it over because I had, I had written down the measurements so I could remember to tell you guys. Um, all right, let me get the glue strings off of here. So what I have is this really cute embroidered vintage, um, let me see if I can turn this, I feel like I'm awfully bright there, <laughs> vintage scarf um, that is, it was probably a table runner, I would say. And I started to cut the trim off. Um, I thought maybe we could use it on the, on the kite. Um, but I wanted you to see
see it. So I left some of it intact here so you can see. And then I'm just gonna take the lace off. Um, this is handmade lace. You really wanna keep it. Um, if we don't use it on this particular kite, you'll wanna keep a hold of it because you can use it in some of your vintage pro uh, projects. If you happen to look at my page and scroll through some of the videos, or even if you just look at the photos, you'll see a lot of projects done with vintage lace. I have uh, I have a website, TammyLovesVintage.com. It's just the name of my page.com. And um, I have lace on there. I have old pages. I have, you know, the vintage box full of treasures, all kinds of things to create with. Um, so, yeah, I've been around for a while, as most of these girls, I think, have been. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm down to just the pretty part. Well, the lace was a pretty part. So I wanna lay this thing out and get as much of the picture as I can. And I think that's gonna be just about right. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, this is scary. I'm gonna cut it a little bigger than I need to and I'll trim it up. Um, I'll trim it up later. Okay, I can see through the kite. So in case you're like, what is she doing? I can see through the kite. So I'm just cutting fast. Oh, I wanna save that little flower. Hi, little flower. We don't wanna lose you. You're not gonna fit though, are you? Maybe. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about you because the trim's gonna cover you up anyway. So let's shift you over here and maybe I can even cut you off. Let's put you somewhere else. Okay, so. You just kind of want to, oh, and I need to go up too. Okay, so you just kind of want to, um, you know, cover your cardboard. You see, so I can see fabric all around the cardboard, okay? So I'm going to turn it upside down. Again, I'm going to put it on a piece of cardboard and I'm going to do the spray, all right? So, so far, I hope you're with me. It's really not hard, you guys. Once you build your frame, once you make your little triangle, um, and if you're in Melanie's VIP group, you'll always have access to this. Um, so you can always go back and look for the measurements once you've, there's an awful lot of um, crafting going on this weekend. So you girls will have a lot to, a lot to catch up on. Um, so yeah, I think it's probably a good idea to be in her VIP group. I think it's, uh, it, it was $10 a month. I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that it's the same. Oh shoot, I put it on the wrong end. Um, so forgive me if I'm if I'm wrong, but I know that's what it was. And you guys then can see all of the videos. I'm gonna snip these little strings off. I don't want them to show through that white. Um, this, this lady, her embroidery, she left long tails. My grandma always left long tails on the doilies because I always put the doilies on upside down, or I put them on my tables upside down. <laughs> and then her and my, my mom would come and visit and flip them all over because I had my doilies upside down. <laughs> Who knew there was a top and a bottom, right? I didn't know. Whatever. So, okay. So let me check how I am with my frame. As far as do I need to cut it a little bit smaller? Here I am. Well, I'm not really not bad, huh? Not too bad. So I better just do like I did before. I'm gonna stay with the um, cardboard here. Maybe I'll just cut just a hair. Okay, I'm just gonna cut a hair. Okay. These look so cute hanging on the wall. I hope you're gonna make one. It does uh, hurt a little bit, I think, when you go to cut the um, the fabric because sometimes some of these embroidery pieces are just so beautiful and you know how hard they work but i feel like we're preserving it um and making it for um, us to enjoy for a long time we're not like destroying it you know we're kind of honoring it i guess in a way okay so let's see what we have here oh yes very, very nice. Let's see how bad are we off. We're really not off at all. Okay, so I have this much of the kite. Um, I don't know if there's any reason to glue it down just yet. I think I'm gonna 
Wait, I need to shave maybe just a little bit more off right here. So then all you do now is just start filling in with lace and other pieces. What I thought I would do is cut out a ribbon, uh, this ribbon part, and maybe these little strips. So um, when you're shopping for this, you're just going to want to look for anything that you can cut up. And I will show you here, I will show you what I mean. So here we go. I'm just gonna try and save as much of this as I can. And if you don't use it all, save it for another, there's that little flower, save it for another project, okay? Okay, so I wanted to have this all cut and ready for you guys. I hate wasting time like this, but at the same time, I really wanted you to see what, what I was, um, what I was doing. So I wanted to wait a minute and do this with you guys. So I may not get all quite all of this on. When she asks you like months in advance, you have to apply to do this. And then she asks you months in advance what you want to make. And it's like, oh, summer, summer, summer. Okay, how about a, how about a kite? <laughs> so, and I really didn't even think, like, how long is it really going to take me to do it? I don't know. I just set a kite on the fly, and here we go. So, okay. So what I'm doing now is just cutting around the pattern that the lady has um uh, I'm calling it embroidery. If you guys know it's in needlepoint or petty point or whatever, I am dumb about that. It looks like embroidery to me. So please feel free to correct me if I am mistaken. I don't mind at all. I would rather learn and know what I'm talking about. I just know it's a very pretty embroidery thing and I thought it would be pretty to use. So, okay. I'm taking way too long to do that. Um, so maybe, yeah, let's just, um, hmm. All right, just for the sake of time here, I'm just gonna save this little bow. I'm just gonna cut out the bow and let's try and get that going here. Okay, let's see, okay. So here we have the bow and just a few flowers. Let me cut the edge off of this flower. Okay, and then I'm going to spray adhesive the back. Make sure you're spraying the back. You can let that just set for a minute and that spray adhesive will hold you guys all that you need it to hold for a very long time. Um, if you see something lift off, you can always tack it with a little bit of glue if you need to. Um, let me see here, where do I wanna do it? Kinda of want it off from the other bow. You know what? I'm gonna cut this whole bow free. I am gonna set you free. Okay, there we go. Okay, I set the bow free. <laughs> Let's put the bow, where the heck we wanna put the bow? Hmm, I'm thinking like that, okay. And then, Maybe what we need to do is cut these flowers free as well. And just kind of tuck them in here, wherever. Let me cut this blue strip off. Oh, and I'm out of time. Oh shoot, I'm out of time. So then you're just gonna trim it, hang it up, and you guys are gonna put a little tassel on the bottom, a little tail, and let me show you real quick. If you can screenshot, do this, because I am out of time, I believe. I think I am. Um, so here are some, and I want you to see that the trims, see the different trims, okay? So <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't think it was gonna take me this long. So there you go, and then you're just gonna uh, hot glue this on the bottom, maybe use a button, and then you will hang it up on your wall. So, oh my gosh, that was a mess. <laughs> that was a mess. I'll tell you what, I will post some pictures on my page if you follow over on Tammy Loves Vintage or you go take a peek over there. I'll be sure to put the finished project there for you guys to see, okay? Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I am late, right? Yeah, I'm late. Okay, bye. <laughs>